A ray of light from a denser medium strikes a rarer medium as shown in figure. The reflected and refracted ray makes an angle 90 degree with each other. The angle of reflection and refraction are R and R dash the critical angle would be. So as per the question, right, a ray is passing from a denser to a rarer medium. Right. So what is happening here? Two things are taking place, internal reflection and refraction. So ray is reflected back in the medium at angle R right and it refract in the medium at angle r dash now we know that for from laws of reflection the angle i and angle r are same means these two angles are same now in the question it is given that the angle between the reflected ray and the refracted ray is 90 degree right now what is happening here if this angle is 90 degree right and if this angle is r then the remaining part of this is 90 minus r why it is c this is 90 degree okay right and this is the refracted ray, reflected ray if this is r that is the angle of reflection then this angle then this angle is 90 minus r okay now in the question it is also given that the angle between the reflected and the refracted ray is 90 degree okay so that is the total angle is 90 now this angle that we have obtained earlier is 90 minus r and the total angle is 90 then this angle is r then in that case also this is 90 minus r so we have obtained that this angle this angle is r okay now if this angle is r right then this total angle the total angle here is 90 and if the total angle is 90 and this angle is r this angle is r then the remaining part is 90 minus r so we can directly say that the angle of refraction r dash is equals to 90 minus r okay this fact we will use right here now using snell's law for this surface here n1 sin i right here n1 sin i is equals to n2 sin r dash right because for refraction we use this angle now n1 sin i is equals to n2 what we have obtained the r dash the angle of refraction is equals to 90 minus angle of reflection so instead of r dash we can directly use 90 minus r and sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so sin 90 minus r is cos r so we can directly write n1 sin i is equals to n2 cos r now n2 by n1 right n2 let us put this here so n2 by n1 cos will be here cos r so n2 by n1 is equals to sin i by cos r but here angle of incidence is equals to i and angle of reflection is equals to r from laws of reflection angle i is equals to angle r so here instead of i i can write r where r is the angle of reflection so sin i by cos r is tan r okay up to this we have reached now it is asked for critical angle and when we deal with critical angle we follow total internal reflection rules right now for total internal reflection sine of critical angle ic is equals to refractive index of denser medium divided by the refractive sorry for total internal reflection sine of critical angle ic is equals to refractive index of rarer medium divided by the refractive index of denser medium so if you make ic as a subject right then it is sine inverse n2 by n1 right here n2 is our rarer medium and n1 is our denser medium okay here n2 is our rarer medium and n1 is our denser medium which is given in the question so n2 by n1 and n2 by n1 we have obtained here in the question we have obtained n2 by n1 is equals to 10 r so here n2 by n1 we can put 10 r so ic is equals to sine inverse 10 r right so which option it is like this option number a sine inverse 10 r